Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I got some late night evening tea for you guys. I've been trying to keep up with the solo videos that some of y'all have been asking for. I will do a live stream possibly tomorrow or something. I'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll keep y'all posted. Anyways, these past 24 hours have been crazy on Twitter, on social media. Literally everything has been trending from Sky Daddy to Funkmaster Flex, Casanova, Larsa Pippen. Oh my goodness, it's been a crazy, crazy day. Then today, this morning, I'm ready to eat breakfast. Nobody, nobody at all. Here comes Funkmaster Flex. <laughs> Watch me get lipo done. I'm like, what the hell is this? Y'all go ahead and check out this video real quick. I'm almost ready. I'm gearing up. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm rocking. Ooh. Let me show you guys a bucket. We're recording, okay? You take a little video now. That's a little bit of the fat so far. They see me out here. Look. I'm not saying we're modeling. I'm going to be hot, though. I mean, surgery complete. Okay? Terza? Hi. Shauna? Dr. Perkins? Thank you. <laughs> you got patient, Flex. Then I got to see this. Look at all the fat that came out. You got busy today, Doc. Yeah, we had a lot of work. I feel good. <laughs> yeah. yeah great patient. After effects is not, not that bad. Not that bad. Maria? Honey, Funkmaster Flex was living his best damn life. His ass was getting some awake lipo, playing ice cream by Wu-Tang in the background, <laughs> getting rid of all the unnecessary fat. You know what? I'm not mad at him because, hell, we all done gained a lot of weight during this damn quarantine, okay? So if you need it and you can afford it, damn it, get it. Do what makes you feel better about you because at the end of the day, you have one life to live and 2020 ain't been no jokes. I'm not mad at nobody who's trying to touch shit up, get things done, get things snipped. Do you, boo? Now, going on to tonight is insane. Casanova's currently trending. Right now, the FBI is looking for Casanova. They have put out an APB. The NYC FBI put out an APB on Twitter talking about they're looking for Casanova. He is one of 18 members that's being charged on a 16-count indictment. Okay, so this entire situation is crazy. Now, you know, usually Casanova, you can find his ass on OnlyFans and shit. I don't know what he does on there, but I'm like, you know, somebody might want to go tap him on the shoulder and tell him to run because they're looking for him. So this is what's being reported. They're saying that a 16 count indictment charging 18 members of the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation with racketeering, murder, narcotics, firearms and fraud offenses was unsealed on Tuesday. Brandon Soto, a.k.a. Stax, is charged with murdering a minor in September. As the indictment alleges the violence and the drug activity committed by these gang members threaten the safety of our community and place innocent lives at risk, said the FBI Assistant Director William F. Sweeney Jr. The unabashed criminal behavior, as alleged, included a murder of a 15-year-old and even extended to defrauding programs meant for people suffering from economic hardships due to the pandemic. Thanks to the partnership and hard work of all law enforcement agencies involved in this investigation, we are able to stop the violent crime and organization, and it shows that the Gorilla Stone is actually not untouchable. One of the members named in the indictment is rapper Casanova, real name Caswell Sr. Casanova is charged with conspiracy to commit racketeering, conspiracy to distribute controlled substances, and possession of a firearm in furtherance of a drug trafficking crime. While 17 of the Gorilla Stone members have been arrested, the FBI is currently looking for Casanova. Each one of the rapper's charges carries a maximum life sentence. So this is insane. So right now, social media is blowing up. Shea Butter Twitter's in their feelings. They're out here talking about we're not snitching. F the police. Y'all are always trying to bring down black rappers. So this entire situation is just insane. To say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I mean, he could be walking down the street. I wouldn't, I wouldn't know a thing. Sorry to this man. Other folks are saying that this has 6 9 written all over it. Because, <laughs> you know, 6 9 and Casanova, they were beefing for a while, okay? So, I don't know what's going to happen with this situation, but y'all might want to tell Cass, if you know him or know how to get a hold of him, that the FBI is looking for him. And, you know, 
might want to just stay on the lam for a while. You know, but, you know, real talk, though, all jokes aside, this is crazy because Casanova did eight years in prison. He's only been out a short time. He hasn't been out, you know, a very, very long time. He did eight years, and you would think that that eight years would have, you know, made him be like, I don't want to come back. Especially if you've been blessed to be in the industry and, you know, get some fame and get some money. Why keep doing dirt on the side? That's why I say a lot of these rappers are not living that trife life that they try to portray. A lot of them are stuck in shitty contracts. And especially since C-19 has hit, a lot of them have had to turn to other means to get money because that show money has stopped. So I don't know. I wish Casanova well, but these are some serious charges. And this is a RICO case. So that means everybody is going down once caught, just like the whole GS9 click um, with Bobby Shmurda and all those guys from a few years ago, they all went down. So, so this is pretty serious now on to a lighter note if you guys do not know once again larsa pippen is out here trending for some whole shit okay so what's going down right now is she is currently trending worldwide because her ass got caught at a miami airport with malik beasley now he's a minnesota timberwolves player they were photographed um this was around november 23rd or some shit they were photographed hand in hand walking through the airport like a you know like a lovely couple well the only problem is malik beasley is married and he has a beautiful wife really pretty woman he is currently married and we know larsa hoodie she goes wherever the damn check blows bitch okay he just signed i think like a 60 million dollar contract not even a month ago so that might have been where the wind blew her right now is to malik beasley but this entire situation is insane his wife has now come out and um it's being reported that she is planning on filing divorce from him so obviously he's he probably been fucking up but this is what's being reported right now by the shape room. They're saying from their exclusive source that um, Montana has retained a lawyer and has decided to file after learning about Malik's indiscretions. Our sources also say that Montana is completely devastated and feels as though she's been living a double life because there were no signs that he was cheating. This couple got the couple got married this past March. Malik has yet to respond to any of the news. So this whole situation is crazy. Now, when she took the social media, she went ahead and she said, wow, I don't even know this man. This is wild, y'all. I'm seeing this for the first time, just like y'all. Then she went on to say, I've always and will forever remain true to who I am. God has never let me down. The truth always comes out one way or another. I appreciate all the love for real. And they also have a child together, okay? So, of course, social media is having a field day with this. They are dragging the hell out of Larsa Pippen all over social media, all over Twitter. Honey, I got to see these memes, these comments. They are keeping their foot on Larsa's neck. It's crazy. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. <music> It is, you told me it was my turn. Curry cuts, lobs, Jones finishes it off. I'll fuck your man. If you let me in your house, I'll fuck your man. Go 
back this way, boom, here, here, click and go that way. Boom, that way, click here and go like this way. It's boom, uh. And they go set with your mama. <laughs> Whoa. That's how I feel. <laughs> Want some breakfast? Where your mom at, nigga? Nigga, where your mom at, nigga? Nigga, where your mom at, nigga? Where your mom at, nigga? Hey, nigga, where your mom at, nigga? Where your mom at? I'm ten toes to fuck down, nigga. I fuck, I ain't going no fucking way, nigga. I want you to know. Say I'm sorry. For the things I've done And I try and be stronger In this life I chose But I want you to know Alright, so you guys just saw those comments, those tweets Y'all just saw what folks had to say Now I think the saddest part in all of this Is the fact that Larsa's, you know what I'm saying Her loose ways, you know what I mean they're starting to affect her children. If you guys don't know, Scottie Pippen Jr., he's, you know, up and coming basketball player. He, you know, he can hoop his ass off. He's really good. And so basically people were going through his likes because, again, you're watching your mother trending all over social media for being on some whole shit. She's literally wrecking somebody else's marriage. I mean, it's just ridiculous at this point. And so um, Scotty Pippen Jr. was seen liking these tweets. So one of the tweets say, thank God Scotty Pippen Jr. doesn't got to play in front of the fans because he would be catching all hell right now. Then he went on to like this. Scotty Pippen Jr. doesn't deserve this. Somebody else says, I just know Scotty Jr. is exhausted. He also went on to like this as well. I feel bad for Scotty Pippen Jr. Honestly, that young man has to deal with this every other week. Enough is enough. That's crazy that her son liked it, that tweet. Then he goes on to like this. Scotty Pippen Jr. just wants to hoop, bro. This shit is sad. So those were the likes that Scotty Pippen Jr. was seen liking. And then he took to social media and he said the following. Focused on myself and my goals. I'm not responsible for nobody's actions. All good over here. And, you know, I'm glad that he understands that whatever his mom is out here doing or his dad is out here doing, that is their grown business. Unfortunately, it does affect the kids. But, you know, hopefully he'll just keep focused on his basketball and what he needs to do. And he doesn't let this get him down too much. I think Larsa needs to grow up. I mean, at this point, she needs to be ashamed of herself. You are 46 years old, meaning you are closer to 50 than you are to damn 40 or 21. That's what she wants to portray herself to be. She wants to be in competition with the Kylie Jenners and the City Girls and all these little young 20-year-olds that she tries to hang with. But she's literally old enough to be their mother. Her son is 20 years old. The guy Malik that she was seen creeping with, he's 24. It's like, come on, you're just doing a bit too much. You're literally messing with the dude that's four years older than your own son. And he's in the same profession as your son. It's, you know, it's one thing to, you know, get some young peen. But damn, he has to be an NBA player and you know your son is trying to make it into the NBA. It's like she just does the most and then she loves to play victim. And oh, people are slut shaming me. Oh, people don't understand me. No, the, your moves are just raggedy. Like, you know, a few years ago, you was running behind Future like a damn high school kid. You a grown woman with four kids. You know, then you're talking about that and all your little sexual exploits. She's basically a Kardashian knockoff. And I think because she has nothing else better to do, you know, Kim Kardashian, they don't cut her off. They don't fool with her no more. So I think at this point, she's just kind of lost her mind and she's just out here doing whatever. And, you know, the whole situation is crazy, but I don't think it's just fair to blame her or just to call her a hoe or, you know, lambast her with a bunch of insults um last time i check it takes two to tango so there should be just as many tweets comments and draggings for mr malik okay for mr malik he knew what he was doing okay mr beasley he was married he knew he was married and he still chose to cheat on his baby mama for an older baby mama like come on now bro you got to do better and my thing is obviously you know in a way when things like this happen i feel like they wanted to be caught you are literally in the middle of an airport. This dude is like six foot nine, tall as hell. So, you know, anybody over six foot stands out. Recognizable because he's in the NBA. 
she's recognizable and you guys are walking through an airport hand in hand. That just makes no sense. And so even if she says that she didn't know he was married, he knew he was married and he still had no problem walking hand in hand with another woman. How are you in Miami with Larsa and your wife has no idea about that? So the whole situation is a shame. I don't blame his wife for filing for divorce. She said she's going to get that NBA bag, honey. He done got that $60 million deal and cheating on her publicly. Best believe she's going to get a cut of that damn money, okay? So anyways, today has been a crazy day. Lots of tea. Lots of things going on. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Um, let me know what you guys think about all of this. If you have not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Make sure you share it. Most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell. So that way you can be down with the notification squad. So let me know your thoughts on all of this craziness that went on today on social media. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.